If your kid enjoys drawing and coloring, and if they also enjoy putting puzzles together, our project today is made for them. I created a puzzle out of a design I drew and colored, and now I'm going to put it together. There, that's my drawing, which became a puzzle. The first thing I did was create the canvas for my drawing and puzzle. Take 12 popsicle sticks and line them up very closely next to each other. Try to get them as evenly arranged on the top and the bottom as you can. Next, use three strips of masking tape to hold the popsicle sticks together and turn the canvas of the popsicle sticks over to draw. Now your child can draw and color whatever kind of picture or design they want. Maybe they'll be motivated by something in their imagination or from a favorite illustration in a picture book. Maybe you'll find a famous painting in an art book or on the internet that will inspire them. Or maybe there's just shapes and colors they'll want to draw. With this puzzle, I drew and colored a house. Notice how I filled in every area of the canvas, not just the house in the middle, but the sun in the corner, and the tree on the right, and the grass and the flowers on the, on the bottom, and, and so on. For the drawing to work best as a puzzle, the artist will want to fill in as much of the canvas as they can. When your kid is done with their drawing and coloring, they turn the puzzle over and remove the strips of masking tape. Then they mix up the sticks. And they're ready to put the puzzle together. Before they do that, you might want to take and print out a photograph of the puzzle so your child has a picture to reference when they're putting it back together. Your child can create a puzzle as simple or as complex as they want. That's one of the things I love about this project. It can work for four-year-olds on up to adults. Here's a very simple puzzle that was created by drawing around the outline of a cookie cutter and coloring around it and the background. You can number the sticks on the back of the puzzle to make it even easier to put it back together. What if your kids want to really challenge themselves? Here's one way they can do that. I've created an abstract design on this puzzle canvas. Now I'm going to put three strips of masking tape on the side that has the drawing on it. And I'm going to turn it over, take this tape off, and I'm going to create another abstract design using the same colors on the opposite side. So what I have is an abstract drawing on both sides of the puzzle. And when I'm done with the second drawing, I'll remove the tape from the other side and I'll mix up the sticks and try to put each side of the puzzle together again correctly. That's what I've done here along with a photocopy of each side of the puzzle. And here are my puzzle pieces. I'm going to put the puzzle back together now. Actually, this may take me a while. So I'm going to sign off for now. I hope you and your kids enjoy creating and playing with lots of puzzles. Thank you.